Throughout the developing world, farmers are trying to increase their productivity to escape from subsistence farming and move into commercial farming. Science can help them realize that growth. But how does science reach the farmers? This film is about building a bridge between science and farmers through the internet. The impact of research depends a lot on how effectively the findings are communicated to the farming community. So we need a strong linkage and a strong dialogue between the farming community and the research community. Our RUN network project pursues a bottom-up approach. So we just simply start by allowing farmers to ask a question to research. That's our starting point. Soroti, Uganda. Samuel Ilau, a field agent for the Rural Universe Network, is on his way to a farm. The farmer has been given the opportunity to ask a question to science about a problem on a farm. The question that she wants to be answered concerns a bull with a wound that she cannot explain. <laughs> This bull has got a disease which has removed the, the skin on the back and there are even some maggots that are in that wound. How long has it been? Samuel's task is to get as much detail as possible about the circumstances of the problem. The, mom, the, the, the bull drinks water from borehole. No, no. I don't know. Mm. The field agent also collects some visual impressions of both the problem and the farming conditions. And off he goes. The field agent sends his information to the central answering service of RUN, where an expert is selected who can possibly solve the problem. The more detail the expert receives, the better he can perform his task. When we go to a farmer, and the field agent goes to a farmer, and he asks the question, he also gathers a lot of data about the context in which the farmer is actually living and producing. It's about acreage, production, uh, marketing, He's asking also questions about literacy. So this information is very important for the expert to find an appropriate answer. So it's not just a question. He needs this context information to provide an answer which is really useful to farmers. At the central answering service of RUN in Kawanda, near Kampala, Eria Bwanasimba is receiving the questions from all of the field agents in Uganda. To find an answer to the questions, he first consults the existing literature. In all cases, an expert is called to the answering service for further consultation. It is Simba's task to translate the scientific solution into language the farmer will understand. So what, what is the disease that is causing this problem? That disease is called photosynthesization. 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 So how does it come about? Yeah, it comes about... Uh, by eating the toxins. So this animal it, could have eaten it, toxins yeah. from the grass? From or? the grass. There is a grass called Lantana camara. Okay. It's a big weed and mm -hmm. it can all it can be seen anywhere, just so it's big. It's you need to big identify big. it yeah. and then uh, be able to to remove that. To remove it from the pasture. Yeah. Experts are could be scientists or they could even be people who are knowledgeable in the subject matter area. They could be uh, a farmer who is very knowledgeable in a specific agronomic practice or a specific farming method. The solution to the problem is sent back to the field agent. He'll bring it to the farmer and explain it to her. Mm. You have to keep that answer for further reference. All participants in the operation are paid for the task. The field agents, the central answer service, 
and the experts. The national coordinator for RUN in Uganda, Mr. Patrick Kasangaki, tracks progress and makes sure everyone gets paid. The salaries and expenses are described in a so-called voucher that describes all of the costs of all participants in detail. Payment is done only when the farmer is satisfied with the answer. The special quality of the voucher system is that all actors are paid only when the farmer is satisfied with the answer, as opposed to other systems where people uh, can get paid uh, when, even when they have not delivered a good service to the farmer. In the last nine years, RUN has answered 1,300 questions in seven countries, covering subjects in horticulture, agriculture, cattle farming, and fishery. The service aims at the poorest and most isolated subsistence farmers who have no other access to scientific knowledge. RUN, it's not just about a simple answering questions. It's also about raising awareness of farmers that actually they need and they can access information from science, especially in times where the environment is changing so quickly due to climate change, population pressure increasing, resource degradation. They have to respond much quicker than in the past. So they have to accelerate actually their knowledge and learning processes. We have to accelerate them. And this is what RUN tries to do. RUN publishes all its findings on the website www.runnetwork.org. Equally important is the fact that all field agents have a paper archive of the relevant questions in the area that can be consulted by the farmers. Not only by the farmers who posed a question, but by any farmer in the neighborhood. In the regions where RUN is active, this turns out to be a great success. I'm really very happy because I know the problems are not going to be uh, something paining me, my farm. It, it is all going to be addressed because the answers are here. All the problems which have been affecting my farm have been displayed here and the answers are there. So there will be nothing which is going to be too hard for me. It is just to go and produce quality. Uh, we are going to use these ones. Instead of approaching or looking for a doctor who is a far, we run to these ones, then we get the answer. Because the pictures are very clear and these are the things which are very common in our places. So it has improved our relationship so much that the trust the farmers now have built on us after seeing the results, especially those ones who have benefited, whose problems have been handled. And they have, the recommendations they are, they, are, they are taken back to. The sharing and the sharing of information that is provided, and it has also resulted into farmers forming groups, bigger groups than before. Because through getting the information from one person who has a problem, they now end up forming a group. The success of RUN is also recognized by the scientific community that appreciates the fact that farmers' questions are a good basis for further research. Uh, giving farmers the relevant answers to their question is very key for development to take place because it will address the African issues, you know, it will address the relevant issues relating to the farmers' own conditions because too often questions are taken from outside, answers are given you know, without them responding to the, to the needs of the farmers. And responding to the needs of the farmers is very important. The information that RUN collects and distributes has proven essential for farmers to increase their productivity and move from subsistence farming to commercial farmers. It took a lot of my money. Which I had, but then Among many others, this happened to Robert Ogallo, who runs a successful orchard thanks to the service of RUN. He was also once a subsistence farmer. Yes. But then when the system came, it has enabled me to move from a subsistence farmer to a commercial farmer because by now I can, uh, ident I can help my fruits to fruit well without minus uh, diseases. There are no problems which used to be there those days when I was still crippling, crippled down to subsistence. Now it has, it has given me a chance to move up. 
to a commercial farming. Which is the problem? She's the saying the problem that these ones. Oh, the black. When a specific problem has been solved, every field agent can find the answer in his archive. Questions don't need to be answered twice. But Run is keeping track of all the locations where a specific problem reappears and forms an excellent early warning system for possible outbreaks of diseases or pests. It is very important that we should be able to give early warning to the farmers, you know, and in fact use farmers' own ideas sometimes, you know, pre to predict these problems that will come up. So we want 60 communities through Sub-Saharan Africa, up to 38 countries. RUN has been successfully tested in Benin, Jamaica, South Africa, Tanzania, Ethiopia, Kenya and Uganda and is now ready to be implemented in 34 countries in Sub-Saharan Africa. So this is uh, something that I believe that Farah would want to give its support to be able to scale this up, you know, so that it is done not only in one particular location or in one country, but is done in several locations in a given country, in different countries in Africa. So there's no salaries, it's only tariffs. RUN is especially attractive for investments from local governments or farmers' organizations because of the financial qualities of its voucher system. One thing of the voucher system is that actually when we determine the cost of a voucher, we try to include all activities and try to avoid hidden costs. We even include paper, ballpoints, phone calls, so it becomes a very transparent where actually did the costs originate. From that on, it's not only for those who invest, it becomes very transparent, but also for those who do the job, they know exactly what they're paid for. The cost of a voucher is adjusted to local conditions and is, on average, 50 euro. In the experimental phase of RUN, the vouchers were given to farmers' organizations free of charge. To make the system sustainable, farmers will have to invest in the expansion of the system. Since a question can serve many farmers, the costs are very affordable for farmers' organizations or cooperatives. The RUN network system was developed in collaboration with many partners in seven different countries. It took us 10 years of research and testing to get it to the maturity where it is today. Farmers have confirmed that it has a big impact on their productivity and those who were involved, they even expressed their willingness to invest into it to keep it going. Now what it needs actually to be adopted in other countries, it needs an investment to kickstart the process but farmers, finally, will cover the cost to keep it going.